Hello and welcome. I'm Chef Patrick Evans Hilton, food editor for Hampton Roads Magazine and executive editor for Virginia Wine Lover Magazine. You know, the summer is here and that means going outside and really enjoying the outdoors, including grilling. And in today's dish, we have a wonderful recipe, brats and beer. Now what's great about this is that it pays homage to the Scots-Irish and the German folks that helped settle the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. Also, all the wonderful pork that there's found in Smithfield and Iowa White County, and as well as Virginia's love of beer. You know, George Washington loved his porter. Thomas Jefferson really enjoyed Pell Ale. And across the state today, there's all kinds of wonderful small batch artisanal brewers that's producing some great beer. So you can actually use that in today's recipe as well. So why don't we go ahead and let's get cooking. All right, so now we're ready to start the first part of our dish, preparing the bratwurst. Look at these beautiful brats that we have here. We're gonna add these to a stock pot. Just gonna put them in. And to these bratwurst, we're going to put some onion that we cut up. This doesn't have to be finely cut. We're just gonna get the flavor of the onion here. So that's why I've just kind of cut them up roughly. And to the onions, we're going to add some seasonings and some spices. We have here some garlic that I've minced. And then an assortment of herbs and spices, including celery seed, mustard seed, some black peppercorns, and then we have four cups of beer. I'm gonna pour in over everything. And then this is gonna go right to the stove top. We're gonna to let that simmer for about 12 to 17 minutes and it's going to absorb all of those wonderful flavors and prepare the broths to be on our grill and get ready for a wonderful dish. All right, well, we've got our bratwurst simmering over there, getting ready for the grill, and now we're gonna start our cabbage. I'm going to melt some butter. Then to this, I'm gonna add some sliced onion. And I'm going to let this cook until that onion becomes translucent and just slightly brown. We're going to add some water. We're also going to add some apple cider vinegar. We're also going to add some apple juice. And we have some seasonings that we're going to put in as well. We have here some cinnamon, some celery seeds, some caraway seeds, some nutmeg, all flavors that will go beautifully with the onions and the apples and the cabbage and really complement that bratwurst. So we've got the cabbage going now and then that's going to simmer for about 40-45 minutes and in the meantime I think our brats are just about ready so we're going to go ahead and take those off and get them ready for the grill. All right, so I've grilled the bratwurst outside here. Again, if you don't have access to a grill outdoors or if the weather is bad, you can use a grill pan inside, but look how wonderful these are. And the cabbage is ready now, so we're gonna plate everything up and we're good to go. All right, so everything has turned out absolutely perfect. The cabbage is wonderful, those brats are beautiful. I know that this is gonna be something that our friends and family will enjoy when they come over in just a little bit, and I think that you will too. So bon appetit.